Hey everybody, it's Austin Harley. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to increase your credit score to go above 700 after a bankruptcy. Now this is gonna to apply to chapter seven, chapter 13, and I've actually made two other videos that are very similar to this one, but this is gonna be the 2020 update back by popular demand. I'll link the other videos up here and here or down in the description so you can go check out those as well. Also, I do wanna state that this video is gonna be very, very analytical. I'm gonna get into the numbers of things, so if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel so that way you can go back and reference this video in the future or save it to your watch list. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. So without further ado, let's jump right into this this video. All right, so before we get completely started in this video, there's a few things that I want to say. Do not apply for any department store credit cards. That's a huge thing. Uh, you want to limit the amount of inquiries, which means if you can, do not go to those dealerships or like I like to call them, stealerships that run your credit 30,000 times and ultimately drop your score. This is going to apply towards any type of bankruptcy to increase your personal credit score, not your business credit score, but it's roughly the same concept. This is going to apply towards after repossessions of your car, any collections, any major delinquencies like foreclosures or short sales. And the last thing I'll say is if you had a discharge or bad relationship with any certain type of creditor, like Capital One, for example, you need to avoid them at all costs in this video. If you're going to follow this plan, it's very in-depth and you need to follow it to a T. So I think that's enough. I think I've said enough on it. Let's get started with step number one. This is the point where you probably need to figure out what exactly is on your credit report. So you're going to go to annualcreditreport.com, link in the description down below. It's completely free to Tool to download your three credit profile. So you're gonna to wanna to download them onto your computer and save them. But what you're looking for is making sure that there's nothing negative reporting out actively on your credit report. Cause think about it, as we go into this plan of taking the time over the next year or two to increase your credit score, you're not gonna to wanna to have something negatively while you're actively putting out positive trade lines. Now, if you do have something negative reporting out on your credit report, like for example, when you file bankruptcy, you're supposed to get a discharge letter and you do not wanna start this process until after you get that discharge discharge letter. It's very, very important. It's going to list out all the debts that have been forgiven or discharged. In other words, you want to make sure that your credit reports, all three of them from the different credit bureaus, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion have discharged all of those debts. If they haven't, I will leave a link down in the description to a template letter that you can send out to the credit bureaus as well as the credit bureau addresses. So you want to make sure you go through everything in detail and make sure that anything is reporting inaccurately, disputed, and taken care of before you start this process. Okay, so step number one is to apply for a credit card. Now I'm gonna list two credit institutions that you can use that will almost guarantee you getting approved no matter your credit score. The first one is gonna be Open Sky Credit. The second one is gonna be Credit One, which is sort of like a knockoff to Capital One. The logo almost looks the same as well. However, what we're looking for is an active positive trading line out there. And I verified that they do all three report out to the three credit bureaus, which is TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. Honestly, you won't be keeping these cards for that long of time because they do have annual fee. Now, I personally recommend you to go with creditone.com because they have a free pre-qualification that does not run an inquiry on your credit. It also can get you approved for an unsecured credit card Unlike Open Sky, do your due diligence and ultimately just get approved for a credit card in general. Now, once you have this credit card, you're gonna follow two simple rules. The first rule is you're not gonna use it over 10% utilization rate. Now, what I mean by that is if you have a $300 credit limit on your credit card that you just got approved for, then you're only gonna use up to $29. And then the second rule is you're gonna pay in full that credit card before the statement cuts. And if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say before the statement cuts, I'm gonna leave a link to the video up here and down below. It doesn't mean you have to use up to 10% and charge exactly $29. It just means you need to use less than $29. And then you need to pay it off in full before the statement cuts. Now on top of that, at the same exact time, you're gonna go out to a local credit union and apply for a secured credit loan. Now for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna spend too much time on exactly what a secured loan is and how to get approved for it. But I will link a video up here and somewhere down in the description below. You should have, by the end of week one, a credit card, either unsecured or secured, and you should have a secured loan. So you should have two active reporting positive trade lines going out to all three credit bureaus. And you're gonna to continue to use and pay off these cards and loans for the next five months. Now, when you hit the fifth month, you wanna apply for your second credit card. And I'm gonna list off some vendors or credit institutions that you should think about applying for. Capital One is a great one to start out with. I would highly recommend them because they have 
automatic credit line increases every six months and that can help strengthen your score. Discover It is a great credit card. It's a middle tiered credit card to get approved for. Barclays, great one to get approved for that will almost guarantee you getting approved after you've had your first credit card and your secured loan for five months at least. Now I would recommend you to start with Capital One. However, for some reason you don't get approved for that, I would move on to Barclays and then use Discover Last because it's kind of a high tiered, middle tiered card and I have seen people get declined for those and again, we want to limit the amount of declines. Now you wanna get approved for these cards within the last week of the fifth month before the sixth month gets reported out. Now this is where it gets a little bit technical with how you need to adjust your spending habits on your card. Your very first credit card, instead of using 10% of the balance, you wanna simply leave a charge of around one to $10, doesn't matter which one, and you wanna pay it off in full completely. Now that second credit card that I just told you to get approved for, you want to start using that up to 30% and then you wanna leave a balance of around one to $10. So to recap, in the very first credit card, you were using less than 10%. So if you had a $300 balance, you really you were using less than $29. Now, once you get approved for your second credit card, you wanna switch your spending habits and you wanna use one to $10 on your very first credit card, pay it off in full, just like we talked about before the statement cuts. And then your second credit card, your new credit card that you just got approved for, you wanna use up to 30% of the balance. So for example, if you have a thousand dollar limit, you wanna use around $300 of it, $350 of it, and then you wanna go ahead and pay it down so that you only have a one to $10 balance on it and let that report out. So you'll be making a $290 payment and letting that report out. Okay, so to recap, you should have two credit cards right now using the spending habits we just talked about, and you should still be paying off that secured loan, and you should be right around that six month time frame right now, half a year time frame. And if you run your credit report again or check it on Credit Karma, you should see a drop drastic improvement in your score already because you have three active trade lines reporting out. But we're not completely done yet. If you really want to maximize in your score, the third and final tip is going to be super technical, but it's really to take your score to the next level. So around the 11 to 12 month time frame, your very first credit card, if you got a secured credit card, should be ringing in that annual fee if they didn't already charge you up front. And honestly, a secured credit card is fantastic, but one with an annual fee is not something you're gonna be keeping for the rest of your life. Because think about it, you don't wanna pay $50 for the rest of your life, that's just not realistic. So it's okay to go ahead and close that one out. Just make sure that you get approved for the next credit card that I'm gonna tell you about before closing out the secured card. Now on the flip side of that, if you did get it, follow my instruction, get approved for the unsecured credit one, credit card, then you want to go ahead and keep that one for as long as you're comfortable paying the annual fee. Some people say that closing out credit cards hurts you and it's true, it does eliminate that credit history. However, if you're coming from a discharge and a bankruptcy, you probably don't have any credit history anyway, so it's not gonna really hurt you that much. It's more of just a stepping stone to get approved for card two and card three, which are higher tier unsecured credit cards. So around the 11 to 12 month time frame, you're gonna to wanna to apply for a third credit card. Uh, which will give you a total of three different credit cards. Unless you close that other one out, you'll have two and one secured line of credit. You can apply for either the Discover card. In fact, I would highly recommend you to apply for the Discover card and I'll leave a description down in the link below for those as well. Now to talk about spending habits, since you'll now have three credit cards and one secured loan, out of these three credit cards, you wanna make sure that you follow the same exact spending habits that we talked about last step. What you wanna do with your credit card usage is you wanna pay off in full two out of the three credit cards or if you cancel the security card, use one out of the two credit cards and pay that off in full and leave a very small one to $10 balance reporting out on that other one credit card. And then on top of that, your secured loan should be paid in full since it was a one year. So you have two options right now. You can go back to the same exact credit union and you can apply for an unsecured loan for the exact same amount, say a thousand dollars unsecured loan, pay it back over the next year, or you can apply for a $2,000 secured loan and give them $2,000, they'll give you $2,000 back and repeat the entire process again. Really guys, at this point, the entire system is done. It's more about just duplicating it and maximizing on it. So you wanna limit your inquiries or your applications to new credit to every six months. Ultimately, it's not to tell you that you can keep applying for credit cards every six months. It's to tell you that now you have options to play with. Now you have credit and you have reestablished your credit and showed the credit bureaus that you are dependable because you are paying off your balances in full 
and uh, showing them that you can maintain a solid credit history even after a massive delinquency such as bankruptcy, foreclosure, short sale, anything of that sort. So over the next six to 12 months, what you wanna do is either apply for credit line increases or you wanna apply for new credit institutions. One out of the four that I just gave you, just be very weary not to apply for anything such as Citibank or American Express because they require top tier credit. Now, if you really wanna take it to a full extent, here are my suggestions, my tips to really maximize on this strategy. The first tip is after the first year, you have your two or three credit cards and then you have your one secured loan. I would highly recommend you to apply for another secured loan or at least try to get an unsecured loan from that credit institution so that you can continue having that trade line report out the following year. If you're a super credit geek like me, you can also download the app myfico.com. I think they have a subscription of like $30 a month, so you can see exactly what your FICO score is on all three credit bureaus. And that's pretty much all there is to it. This is the updated 2020 version of how to go from a discharge, bankruptcy, foreclosure, short sale, anything, collections, to go to 700 plus in less than one year. Again, this is super technical. You might wanna save this video and rewatch it a few times. However, if you check the description, I'm gonna leave links to everything I talked about as well as a list and step-by-step -step instructions on exactly how to do this. And without further ado, that is all I have for you today. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and check out some of my other videos on credit repair. And I wish you guys the best.